the channel. In today's video, I am going to solve June 2019 supplementary exam questions from arithmetic progression with marks distribution. This video will help you to prepare for the board exam. Before going to start this video, in my previous video, I have covered questions asked in March 2019 Karnataka board exam from arithmetic progression. Now, let us begin this video. In June 2019 exam, three questions were covered from this chapter. Two questions were asked for one marks each and other question was for four marks. Total, six marks were covered in this chapter. First, we will see which question was there for one mark. It's a multiple choice question. If the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 5n plus 3, then third term of the arithmetic progression is the options given here are a 11, b 18, c 12 and d 13. The answer is b 18. The solution is very simple. The question is to find third term. Put n is 3 in the given expression. a 3 is equals to 5 into n is 3 plus 3. 5 into 3 is 15 plus 3. 15 plus 3 is 18. Therefore, the option B 18 is correct. This type of question was asked in March 2019 also. So, you need to practice such questions. Now, move to the second question. It is also for one mark. The question here is, write the formula to find the sum of the First n terms of an arithmetic progression whose first term is a and the last term is a n. The formula is Sn is equals to n divided by 2 into bracket a plus a n. Or you can also write Sn is equals to n divided by 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. You need to remember all the formulas of arithmetic progression. Now, let us look at 4 marks question. Sum of the 4th and 8th terms of an arithmetic progression is 24 and the sum of the 6th and 10th terms is 44. Find the first 3 terms of an arithmetic progression. The question is to find 3 terms of an AP. For that, we need first term A and second term D. Let us see how to find A and D. This question has two conditions. Using these conditions, we have to form two equations. Then, find A and D values by solving these two equations. First condition says, the sum of the 4th and 8th terms of an arithmetic progression is 24. The 4th term is A4 and 8th term is A8. Their sum is 24. We write this condition as A4 plus A8 is equals to 24. Sum of fourth term is A4 plus A8 is 24. We will proceed next step using the formula to find first term of an AP A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N is 4 minus 1 into D plus A plus N is 8 minus 1 into D is equals to 24. A plus 4 minus 1 is 3 into D plus A plus 8 minus 1 is 7 into D is equals to 24. A plus A is 2A plus 3D plus 7D is 10D is equals to 24. By taking 2 as a common, 2 into bracket A plus 5D is equals to 24. Take 2 this side. 24 divided by 2 is 12. The first equation we got here is a plus 5d is equals to 12. You get one mark for finding first equation. Now coming to the second condition, the sum of the 6th and 10th terms is 44. 6th term is a6 and 10th term is a10. Sum of these terms can be written as a6 plus a10 is equals to 44. Here also we use the formula to find first term of an AP is A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N is 6 minus 1 into D plus A plus N is 10 minus 1 into D is equals to 44. A plus 6 minus 1 is 5 into D plus A plus 
10 minus 1 is 9 into d is equals to 44. a plus a is 2a plus 5d plus 9d is 44d is equals to 44. Take 2 as a common here. 2 into bracket a plus 7d is equals to 44. Write 2 this side. 44 divided by 2 is 22. a plus 7d is equals to 22 is the second equation. For second equation, you will get one mark. Next, we have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. a plus 7d is equals to 22 minus a plus 5d is equals to 12. a has plus sign minus plus is minus. a minus a is 0. minus plus is minus. 7d minus 5d is 2d. 12 has plus sign. Minus plus is minus. So 22 minus 12 is 10. Take 2 this side. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Hence d is equals to 5. Substitute d is equals to 5 in equation number 1. For this step you will get half mark. The equation number 1 is a plus 5d is equals to 12. A plus 5 into d is 5 is equals to 12. A plus 5 into 5 is 25 is equals to 12. Writing 25 this side plus 25 becomes minus 25. 12 minus 25 is minus 13. Therefore, A is equals to minus 13. Up to this step, you will get half mark. Now, we will find three terms of an AP. A is minus 13. Second term is A plus D. A is minus 13 plus D is 5. Minus 13 plus 5 is minus 8. Third term is A plus 2D. A is minus 13 plus 2 into D is 5. Minus 13 plus 2 into 5 is 10. Minus 13 plus 10 is minus 3. Half mark for calculating 3 terms of an AP. Therefore, 3 terms of an arithmetic progression is minus 13, minus 8, minus 3. If you want to cross check whether the answer is correct or not, for that we need to calculate 10 terms of an AP. Now, we have already 3 terms. Minus 13, minus 8 and minus 3. Keep on adding common difference 5 to every preceding term. We will get up to 10 terms. Minus 3 plus 5 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So on up to 10 terms. First condition is sum of the 4th and 8th terms is 24. A4 plus A8 is equals to 24. A4 is 2 plus A8 is 22 is equals to 24. 2 plus 22 is 24. So, first condition is correct. Second condition is sum of the 6th and 10th terms is 44. A6 plus A10 is equals to 44. A6 is 12 plus A10 is 32 is equals to 44. 12 plus 32 is 44. So, second condition is also correct. I hope this video will help you to prepare for your exam. In my next video, we will see solutions of March 2020 questions from EP. Please do subscribe to my channel for more such videos.